Hi, this is Gil Robles, and I am starting a new painting in my new sketchbook, uh, the older sketchbook that I use for these uh, lunch hour sketches that I do. Um, I, I finished that. It was a Strathmore, I think Strathmore 400 series or, or 500 series, um, one or the other. But it was a, it was a, a decent sketchbook. This uh, this one has a thicker thicker paper. Uh, which I, I like more. It buckles a little bit less than, than the other one. Not that the Strathmore paper buckled that much at all, but um, because it's thicker, uh, you know, I can build up the paint, uh, uh, build up the paint more slowly or whatever, and it won't buckle. You know, I can use more paint, more washes, and so forth. Um, but I, I like the paper. It's a bit too white, um, but uh, it, it, you know. Other than that, I, I, I do like the paper. But um, this, like I said, this is my first painting in the sketchbook. Uh, i um, doing things a little bit differently now. I'm going back to doing a more careful uh, pencil drawing in the beginning. I, I tried to get away from it um, and just, you know, just playing around with the paint and just seeing more of what I can do. I know uh, I, I generally tried to use it the same way I did my oil paints um, but because I'm using reactivated paints here I, it's not as um, it, it doesn't go opaque as fast as if it was uh, fresh paint from the tube but um, the thing is that the more precise I am in the beginning with the drawing the less guesswork I have to do and as I lay down these uh, washes of paint uh, thin washes to begin with you can see that uh, I still don't lose the drawing underneath so that I can uh, build up on that and, and then uh, um, get away from it as I build up the paint but it's all there as far as all the information that I need and um, I can uh, just feel more comfortable about where I'm going with this at least uh, in, in the beginning so like I said less guesswork later um, so uh, and also I am laying down washes on again reactivated paint because I don't like to throw out the the gouache. Gouache is expensive. These tubes cost a lot of money, uh, especially when you buy you know uh, 12, 13 tubes at a time. And depending on the color that you buy, the more expensive it gets. So, and I've always used the uh, the paint this way as far as reactivating the paint rather than always squish uh, squeezing fresh paint on my palette. Uh, one because I was uh, you know I was a student so I didn't have much money back then either and now that I, I'm, I'm you know grown man with a family and there's uh, many expenses uh, I you know uh, I, I have seen no reason to change up the way I do things uh, it, it's always better to use fresher paint though it's it's always nicer uh, but there's also building up the painting this way that that, that 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 it's also valid it's also uh it, it may not be as quick as uh, getting to uh the opacity and stuff as, as you know uh and and uh but i i do get what i want as far as the paint is concerned um it's like building up a watercolor you know the only difference is that the the painting eventually becomes more opaque you can paint on top of uh, areas and then after you after the paint has been wet a while it pretty much works uh, as it uh, it pretty much works as if it was freshly squeezed from the tube and it really depends on the colors that you buy I, I got used to picking out certain colors because I recognize after use that these colors um, are, are, are more some colors are more opaque than the others and some colors would would after you reactivate them would uh, get there a lot quicker so um, so basically the colors that I have on my palette are, are those type of colors the less less transparent and more opaque ones um, but uh, there's also um, back when I, I was painting in, in high school I used I've been using gouache since high school there was a, a, a palette that I bought made by Grumbacker it's a little blue palette and the thing is that it kept the the the, the, the paint fresher longer it, it kept the paint moist because what it had was on the lid it had a sponge that when you close it it, it, it kept the paint um, you know from from drying up quick 
so the paint was able to stay fresh in that palette for a long time the only drawback to that Grumbacker palette was that it was all plastic the hinges were plastic and the hinges would break so I would wind up uh, buying uh, buying these palettes a few times but they were great because they kept the, 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 the paint fresh longer uh, but Grumbacker have stopped making them so when I broke my last palette I, I wasn't able to buy any more and for a long time so but recently on Amazon I, I found this palette that does the same thing it's a clear palette and it has a, a, a kind of a it, it isn't it's some other material it isn't a, a sponge like it was on the um, the Grumbacker palette but it has some other material when you close the lid it keeps the paint fresh for longer so uh, and I on this first painting I hadn't bought the palette yet I bought it recently and I'll leave a link below to, to this palette because it, it's great because I, I've been using it I, I'm like maybe six uh, paintings into the sketchbook already so I, I've had this palette for about a week where I sweat where I squeezed new paint on it and it has uh, and the paint is still fresh on there after a week so um, or it's still moist so I, it's a great palette to, to have the only difference is like, like the Grumbacker palette I didn't travel too much with it because then uh, you know one it, it wouldn't the colors wouldn't leak outside of the, the the palette once you close the lid but it would leak into the other wells you know if you're not careful so I, I do travel with it, but I keep it flat on my bag in my bag, so that I, I'm careful not to allow the, the 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 one color to contaminate the other colors in the well. So like I said, it doesn't leak outside of the palette, so it doesn't get all over my bag and 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 so forth. But you know, it might get into the other wells. Uh, but other than that, it's a great palette. It, it's good if you if you know it's perfect if you're stationary and you keep it at home or. You, 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 you paint someplace else and you keep it there uh, but if you're careful you can still travel with it uh, you just got to use a little extra caution there so that it doesn't like I say uh, you know one color doesn't uh, go into the other ones and contaminate the color and so forth but um, it, it's I haven't used it here this is still reactivated paint from my old uh, palette and like I said after you know after the, the color has been wet for a while uh, it, it starts to behave uh, pretty much like it's fresh from the tube so uh, and you have I had no trouble building up the opacity um, and having that pencil drawing uh, um, down as precise as I did as, as far as it was all I needed then I could um, you know I, I could get I, I it cuts the time uh, it cuts the time down it did I need to, to, to build the painting up but um uh, again, I, I, I've um, I, I've been pushing the way I've been doing gouache as, as far as uh, just changing up the the, the, the way I do it, um, the, adding the palette, the the new uh, palette that allows the paint to stay uh, moist longer helps, um, and even um, building it up this way. Or, or changing the way I do it with the with, as far as the pencil and you know the drawing in the beginning and so forth but um, it, it I'm, I'm changing the way I'm doing things and, and maybe uh, in hindsight uh, um, it is not so good to go opaque so quickly uh, and building up the, the the painting seems to work better for me um, building it up more slowly rather than trying to get the, the, these uh, um, thick impostals down real quick you know uh, real quick um, so it, it allows me to uh, one build up the painting slowly like I said and also make decisions as I go along and um, uh, so far it's been working for me so anyway uh, I am going to continue to use gouache uh, as well as in these videos I, I'll, I'll change up mediums every now and then uh, digital um, pen and ink you know whatever but I, I'm gonna continue to use gouache because I'm having a lot of fun with it and because it's also changing the way I do things um, and I'm getting used to more used to the medium like I said I've been using this since high school but as I, I'm using this on, on a daily basis I'm getting more and more familiar with the medium so I can 
uh, make decisions more easily. Also, you know, I think about expanding the medium using uh, different media along with gouache, like casein was one media that I, I, I had tried. It was new to me. I, I, I had a, one tube of it for a long time, but not since I saw seen some videos by James Gurney, who was using both gouache and casein, did I think of using uh, the casein paint uh, as much as, as now. So I, I use it with gouache, not on its own so much. But um, again, I'll, I'll continue to share these things as they go along. Let me know what you think. Uh, this is pretty much the end of my video. And there's the, the final painting. Uh, let me know what you think. Also, I have a video on painting and gouache, a longer video, uh, more uh, more involved as far as how I finished, uh, how I start and finish the painting, and it's available on Gumroad. I'll also leave a link to the the palette that I talked about that's available on Amazon. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Leave any comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Uh, what you think about uh, the medium and, and about um, this video. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.